Hi guys, this is Jared with Data Medics again. So today I'm working on a, a real data recovery case. Um, this is one of the few times I'm actually going to do a data recovery case uh, live with uh, it being recorded for YouTube. Um, this is a, a pretty classic case we've been seeing a lot of uh, come in. It's a three terabyte Seagate hard drive. Uh, the hard drive sounds normal when it spins up, doesn't make any weird clicking noises or anything like that, but it's uh, not recognized by the computer BIOS. Uh, this particular model was pulled out of a, a Seagate Backup Plus external hard drive. Uh, you know, again, it wasn't being recognized. Everything sounded normal, but just it would never mount on the computer. Uh, all the computer would see in uh, device management it was just the USB bridge. So this is a really common case that we've been seeing a lot of. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the classic symptoms here of this uh, sort of failure. Now I'm using the PC3000 data recovery system. Uh, it's an expensive system used by data recovery professionals. And uh, the typical issue with these drives uh, comes down to really a problem with the media cache and the bad sector auto reallocation functions. Uh, as soon as these drives develop any amount of bad sectors, even a relatively small amount of bad sectors, uh, the firmware tends to just get stuck in a busy state. Now I'm going to go ahead and power this on uh, just so you can see. Now as we see it starts off with the typical uh, busy light and then eventually it's going to go to a ready state. But I'm going to show you what happens as soon as it tries to read hard drive's ID. What we're going to get. So as you can see, DRD, DSC is lit up. That means the drive is now in a ready state. It's ATA ready. It's ready to accept commands from the computer. But as soon as we go ahead and try to read the hard drive identification, we notice it gets stuck in this busy state. And it just never recovers. It just stays stuck busy. There's nothing we can do at this point to interact with this drive until the power is cycled again. So I'm going to show you a little trick here uh, you can use using PC3000. Now the first trick, which doesn't work in every case, um, but it's the first go-to that we always try before we attempt to bother with uh, shorting the read channel, which is another uh, trick we have to use with the really stuck uh, you know, Granada family drives, such as this uh, ST3000DM001, uh, is that we'll uh, try to initiate the tech the, the tech access command during the initialization but before the drive comes ready. So let me just make sure my COM port is connected here so we can see our terminal post as we do this. So again I'll just show you uh, what this hard drive is doing. So we see we get you know initial spin up is happening just fine. I'm just gonna watch this terminal log really quick. Okay spin is okay. Say to reset that means the drive is normally would be ready uh, to accept commands. Read hard drive AD. Again, we're just stuck at this busy indicator. Can't do anything. So what we're going to do now is try sending that tech key during startup. So I'm going to go ahead and power it off, power it back on. This time, though, I'm going to go ahead and just hit the utility start with Granada family selected before it comes ATA ready. And we notice now it goes through the regular startup log like a normal hard drive, and it has identification. Now, uh, that doesn't mean this drive is fixed, because if we go to sector edit and try to actually read a sector, again, we're just stuck at busy. So uh, we're going to have to obviously do some repairs to this drive to get it back to a functional state. Now, the typical way to repair these drives is to modify system file 93 to be able to disable some of those background processes. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the utility, fire it up again just like we did before. So again, I'm going to select Granada Family, Power Supply, Utility Start. And now we're going to be careful not to do anything such as check ID or attempt to access a sector that's going to cause it to get stuck busy. But we do want to get in there and try to first thing read that system file 93. Okay, that time we actually failed to boot up. Well, let's try this again. Okay. So you've got to kind of time it just right here. Okay. Okay, so we got the initialization done. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and go to Utility Extensions. Uh, actually, I'll try this the easy way. So first we're going to go in here and just try to do edit hard drive ID. Now I have a feeling it's going to fail doing it this way. This is to do it over ATA, this is to do it through terminal. I'm going to try doing it over ATA first. And let's just see if it'll work. And again, we're stuck busy. Okay, I didn't suspect that was going to work. In some cases, if it's not badly stuck, that will work. So we're going to go ahead and just launch it again.
Okay, so this, this time we're going to try doing it through terminal. So we'll just go, I think, go here, add a hard drive ID and terminal. Uh, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll go ahead and just keep the COM port at 38400. Sometimes error detecting baud rate. And let's try this one more time. Okay, so I'm not sure why it's doing that. Let's try this through another mode here. Go to uh, service information objects. Let's go find system file 93. Make sure we're on copy zero. That's the one we want to modify. And once again, we're stuck busy. Okay, so this is a good case to actually show. Now, sometimes this would work without getting stuck busy. Sometimes it wouldn't. Now, uh, one trick we can try here is uh, go ahead and power off, power on, and then we'll try reading it again while the drive is first powering up. Ah, as we see this time, we actually managed to read the system file. So now what we're going to want to do is go into here and go to Edit Save Mode Pages. So we're going to go ahead and modify this module. Now, as we can see here, we have media caches enabled, uh, idle activities are not disabled. So what we're going to go, do ahead, go ahead and do here is just turn on the additional messages in terminal. And we're going to turn off all of these checkboxes. Um, now you have to be careful doing the certain families. Um, this particular series, the Granada series, it's not a problem to disable media cache. Certain newer drives, um, that may be a problem as uh, disabling the media cache may actually end up deleting some recent data put on the drive. So it's something you want to be mindful of. It's not a big issue with this series of drive. We don't lose much of any data by deleting the media cache. So, and I also like to disable idle activities. Once in a while I see that that causes a problem. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I suspect that the writing may fail here. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. And check what the log says. And yeah, it's giving us some kind of issue. Let's just try to write data to hard drive. And yes, yeah, again, we see we're stuck in busy mode. So uh, this is a, a pretty bad case, you know, but not, not an issue at all for us to take care of. So, okay, so as we can see, keep getting stuck in busy. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and just power this off, launch the utility again. I'm going to show you here the method that almost always works in cases like this. So again, we're just going to power it on. Launch Granada family utility. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go right into terminal. I'm going to hit control Z and that should get me My terminal does not seem to be working. Let's try doing this from a clean startup here. Well, this is an interesting. All right, well, we're going to try this one last way. All right, so we're going to go ahead and power it up. Manually select Granada family, utility start before it comes ready. Okay, so we don't seem to be getting much terminal access for this on this for very long. So let's go ahead and go to the service information objects, system file, make sure we go down to volume three. Past it. Volume three, ninety-three, copy one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, it's gonna fail. Again, now right on power up. Okay, 
So again, we're going to edit the SMP pages. All right. Hit OK. Now, before I write it this time, because I know that's going to fail, I'm going to go ahead and just power off, power on, and we're going to hit write just a little before it goes to the ready state. Okay. So this time it looks like the write may have actually happened. So we're going to go ahead now and just power off this drive, power it on one last time, and we're going to check the ID. Okay, so this time it read ID and didn't go into a busy state. So now if we go up, go ahead and open the sector editor, just check the master boot record, and there enough. Sure enough, there's actual data. Now this is the MBR. Go to the final sector, make sure we have access to the beginning and end of the drive. Uh, so at this point, this drive is now repaired. Now all we have to do is queue up a data extractor task, and we can go ahead and image this hard drive. Uh, we do want to be aware that there's likely to be some bad sectors that triggered this issue, so we want to make sure those first couple of passes are on a nice low timeout, something like 150 or 200 milliseconds, uh, relatively moderate block size, uh, read-through monitor that all the heads are reading properly that we don't have any weak heads or anything like that uh, but this will generally these will typically turn out to be you know 99.9% .9 recoveries with only a moderate number of bad sectors when we see these type of cases so I hope you enjoyed this video if you're a PC 3000 user I uh, hope it helps you solve some more cases um, if you're a casual viewer and you have a hard drive that this is describes your situation that the drive is just constantly stuck busy and you can't access it uh, our company is data medics it's data-medics.com uh, you can just Google data medics. Uh, we're a professional provider, provider of professional hard drive data recovery services of all sorts of hard drives, including uh, these three terabyte hard drives uh, in any condition, even if they're clicking, not spinning, uh, you name it. Uh, we work on all hard drives in every kind of condition. So hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.